is going on YouTube, the assist man. Inside of this video, I'm bringing you guys some Overwatch gameplay on the ranked playlist, and I am playing D.Va, and I'm also playing with some of my subscribers, man, so shout out to you guys that are inside of the game. But the gameplay is just there for your entertainment viewing pleasure. It is never important. What is important inside of my videos is the topic that I speak about, and let's go ahead and get into that topic at hand right now. The other day, a pretty well-known YouTuber who's primarily a Call of Duty YouTuber by the name of Biblical Reaper made a video on his channel saying that he needs help. Now, for those of you guys who don't know who Biblical Reaper is, some of you guys do, some of you guys might not. He has about 150,000 subscribers. He basically makes a lot of videos based upon leaks of Call of Duty, supply drop openings, and so on and so forth. And the other day, he made a video basically saying inside of the video that he needs help, that he's scared for his life, he doesn't have enough money to continue to live the way he wants, that he has a son and he needs to take care of his son, that he's in fear of you know losing what he has and so on and so forth. Well, let me get one thing clear for everybody watching this video right off the bat is I am a human being just like he is. I wish no ill will on any man or on any woman or on anybody. Um, so let's get out of the way real fast. I do not have any hate towards this man at all and I wish him all the best. But looking into this video and what was said in this video and based upon his lifestyle, I feel it's only appropriate that we go ahead and cover some stuff real fast and actually bring light to what, what I think is pretty much going on. So first of all, I think that this video is just a bunch of BS. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm saying it. And if you stick around in this video, I'm going to tell you why. You see, Biblical Reaper has been around now for a couple years. But he didn't start getting popular on YouTube. So, you know, just, you know, recently in the past 12 months. So his channel has been doing very, very good over the course of, I'd say, the past 6 to 12 months. And he is reaping the benefits of that, or has been. You see, when he started getting really popular, the views on his channel were going crazy. Now, regardless if you want what you want to say or what you don't want to say, in the community, Biblical Reaper is regarded as one of the biggest clickbait YouTubers known. He does a lot of clickbait titles, a lot of clickbait videos, and in theory, that's how he was getting a lot of views, and that's how his channel was blowing up the way that it was. You could see here in a screenshot that I'm posting right now. You could see here from June 14th to July 13th of this year, his channel accumulated over 3 million views. And then in the following month, from July 14th to August 16th, his channel accumulated 2.3 2 million views, which is like a drop of over 30%, or about 30%. And then the next month currently, what we're rolling into now, his channel has only accumulated about 1 million views with just about three days to go. So you could see for the past couple months, month by month, his channel is actually losing tons and tons and tons of views. You could just see three months ago he went from having 3 million views to two months ago about 2.2, 2.3 million views, then to last month, you know, and currently just about a million views. Well, you see, YouTubers are actually paid off of their views, and they make money off of the views that they, that they actually get on YouTube. And on average, a YouTuber makes about $2 per 1,000 views. That's on average, which means that if you multiply that, you would make about, you know, $20 per 10,000 views, or about $200 per 100,000 views, or about $2,000 per 1 million views. Now these figures are just on average, give or take about 10% up or down. But let's just say for the sake of argument, on average YouTubers make $2,000 per 1 million views. Well, in, in a, just three months ago, he accumulated 3 million views on his channel. So if you're making about $2,000 per 1 million views, that's about $6,000 that he made in one month, give or take. And then the following month, he made, you know, 2.3 million views. So that's about, let's say, $4,500 in that month, give or take. And then this p past month, he only made 1 million views. And that's about $2,000, give or take. So do you see what's happening here? I think a lot of people actually caught on to his clickbait scams he was using in his videos and his views started going down and people started not supporting him anymore. So, you know, he went from making $6,000 one month, you know, $4,000 the next month and now only $2,000 this month. And he could see that month over month, his views and his, and his money he's making is going down and he could inevitably see that it's probably going to continue to go down. 
and now he's asking us for help. He's asking us for help, saying that he doesn't have enough money to, you know, support his family and continue on and so on and so forth. Which it seems kind of odd to me that somebody who's make, you know, who, who can make four, five, six thousand dollars in one month off YouTube is asking for help. I mean, isn't this the same guy who actually makes supply drop opening videos for Black Ops 3 where he sits there and spends hundreds upon hundreds of real money dollars opening up Call of Duty Black Ops 3 supply points being purchased with real money with Call of Duty points. I'm going to link some videos in the description to where you see he has one video alone where he opens up 12,500 plus COD points in one video. Then he has another video where he opens up like 5,000 and then he says in the video, oh, I didn't get the gun I wanted or the weapon I wanted. Let's go ahead and do another $20. This guy makes thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars on YouTube. Regardless if he did or if he didn't, he's sitting there making videos, spending hundreds upon hundreds of dollars opening up Call of Duty Black Ops 3 supply drops. I, I don't feel sympathy for that. I, I don't. You know, a lot of us Call of Duty YouTubers have said all along that these supply drops are just gambling for kids. And this is a grown man. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that everybody makes mistakes in their life. I've made ton of them. I wish I can go back in time, but unfortunately we can't. All we can do in life is learn from our mistakes. So hopefully this man is now learning from his mistakes, but I don't think that it's fair that, he, that he's reaching out to kids and other people, asking them for money. He's basically asking them to support and fund his lifestyle. Because if his lifestyle is him sitting there spending hundreds upon hundreds of dollars, opening up Call of Duty supply drops, and now he has no money left, then we are just refunding his lifestyle. He should have thought about that while he was opening up all of these supply drops or whatever else he was doing. It is a form of gambling. So maybe this man does have some sort of gambling addiction or something like that. I don't know. You know, that's something he needs to figure out and work on for himself and try to fix. Another thing, if this man needs money so bad, then why was he opening up all of these supply drops, A, and then B, you know, it's not, it seems kind of weird to me that somebody who's reaching out to the community saying that they need help and they need money to survive and all this stuff is sitting there telling you this when right behind him he has not one, not two, not three, but four LCD LED computer monitors. I mean, look guys, I'm a YouTuber as well. I'm a technology guy. I own a lot of stuff as well. There is a lot of stuff I want. I have one computer monitor. As a matter of fact, I have one computer monitor that I utilize for both my PC and my Mac mini. It's plugged into two separate HDMI ports and I just switched the inputs on them so I could utilize both computers on one monitor because you know that is the most cost effective thing to do. But would I like to have, you know, two, three, four, five, you know, gaming monitors and computer monitors and stuff like that? Yeah, I would love to have that. But the thing is, I can't afford that. I might be able to have enough money to purchase it, but I can't afford it because there's other things that need that I need to spend my money on, you know, like bills and other stuff like that. So, no, I can't afford to go out there and buy that. But yet he's sitting here talking to us on an expensive microphone with, like I said, not one, not two, not three, but four expensive LCD computer monitor sitting behind him. Lord knows how much other technology, you know, technology inclined stuff he has, you know, like PCs and gaming equipment and all that stuff. I mean, for God's sake, in every single one of his videos, he has a sponsor code up, you know, for some kind of place that sponsors him. Oh, this is being powered by this, sponsored by Control Freak, use 10% off with my code to get this. So a man that's sitting here making thousands upon thousands of dollars a month off YouTube, a man that's sitting here opening up hundreds upon hundreds and probably thousands of dollars in Call of Duty COD points to buy supply drops to get fictitious pixelated weapons inside of a game that is sitting there talking to us on expensive computer equipment with multiple monitors and all kinds of LED backlights and custom desks and all this other stuff behind him. He now needs help from us. I, I, I'm trying to figure out what other avenues you went down before you reached out to the community Like did you ever think actually about maybe selling, you know, some of your some of your electronics to 
to actually recoup some of the money? Did you ever think about, you know, going down that avenue? Did you ever think about, you know, maybe going back into the workforce since you made YouTube your career now, but you see that it's falling and falling every month? Did you ever think about these things? I mean, I'm sure you got to have thousands upon thousands of dollars in electronics sitting right in front of you. I mean, that's stuff that you might want, but you don't necessarily need. So did you ever go down that avenue of thinking that maybe you could actually get rid of some of these things? Maybe you don't need some of the equipment you have. Maybe you could sell these off and recoup some money that way. I mean, I don't think he did because he's sitting there and he's telling us, guys, I need help. I can't afford to live. I can't afford to do this. I can't afford to do that. But yet, like I said in this video, he makes thousands upon thousands of dollars a month off YouTube. He has sponsorship deals. He's sitting in front of four computer monitors with all kinds of electronics and custom LEDs and other stuff in front of him, which that stuff costs a lot of money. And the average YouTuber, the average gamer, the average consumer does not own things like that. But this man does. And then he spends hundreds upon hundreds of dollars opening up supply drops. And now he's asking us to help him. I think that Biblical Reaper, I'm sure you're watching this video, man. And like I said, and even if you're not watching it, if you do stumble across it, I wish you nothing but the luck, man. And I don't have any hate towards you as a man at all. But sometimes you got to look in the mirror, man, and figure stuff out. Because what you're doing right now, in my opinion, is just wrong. You're basically saying and setting the example for people saying, you know what? It's cool that I spent thousands upon thousands of dollars on electronics that I don't really need. It's cool that I spent thousands of dollars opening up Call of Duty supply drops. It's cool that I did that and I gambled and did this, this and that, but now I need help. You know, it's cool that I did that, but now I need you guys to bail me out. I mean, this is like the housing economy collapsed years and years and years ago. All these shady ass mortgage companies were giving people these subprime loans and blah, 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 knowing that they were going to be bad, knowing that they would be defaulted on. And when all these companies collapse, you know, like, like Freddie Mac and Annie Mae or whatever heck they were called, you know, what happened then? The government just bailed them out and gave them tons of money. So basically the government was setting a standpoint saying, hey, no matter all the shady stuff you did in the past, man, you know, that's the past. We'll help you out. We'll bail you out and set everything right. And that's pretty much what I see the standard is for what's going on right now with, with this situation. It's like the guy has spent thousands of dollars doing supply drop videos, buying all these electronics and all this technology stuff that he theoretically does not need. He might want, but he does not need in order to live. And now he's asking the community, he's asking us to donate to him on a GoFundMe and actually help support his lifestyle. You know, I would feel a lot better if you actually made this video and said, hey, look, I need help, blah, 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 from you guys, if you could help me out. This is actually what I did to help myself. Instead of saying, hey, I need help, I'm still gonna sit here and talk to you guys in front of these four LCDs and these computers with these custom LEDs and these microphones and open up supply drops and pre-order games and blah, blah, blah. If you would've came out and said, look, I'm hurting right now, man. I had to sell my PC. I had to sell three of my computer monitors. I had to sell one of my gaming consoles that I don't utilize as much. I had to sell a whole bunch of this stuff. And you had came out and said, this is what I'm doing to help myself, but I could appreciate some help as well. I would've actually respected you for that. But in the rate that you're going right now and the stuff that you're doing right now, I can't, man. I just can't. So that's my opinion, my personal opinion on this experience, man. It is what it is. The guy opened up a GoFundMe account. He has over $2,000 in people that has donated to him already. It's all good, man. I hope that, you know, you can uh, use that money for something right. But at the same time, I'm not feeling the entire situation. So man, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up like. If you disagree with me and you didn't like the video, it's your opinion and your right to hit that dislike button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the situation that I actually explained inside of this video and let me know what you guys think about it all. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, man, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about me, man, so they can subscribe to my channel. They can view my videos and then you can help a brother out. So anyway, YouTube, this is The Assist Man and until next time, I am out.